versus Skyrim. Hello and welcome to Brass DTV. I'm your host, Brass Devon. And today is going to be the first episode of a series where I take on the main quest line in Skyrim with a slight handicap. And as any of you who have seen my other videos on Skyrim know, I have quite a few special tricks that I've learned over the last few years playing Skyrim. And I've created a character that's pretty much unstoppable. So I'm going to try going the other direction. I'm going to try challenging Skyrim as a level 1 on Legendary difficulty. As you can see, I'm in Helgen, where the game generally starts off. However, I am skipping all of the character creation and unnecessary cinematic drama that usually goes hand in hand with escaping a burning town that was subject to a dragon attack. And I will be using every trick I know to try to compensate for the fact that just about anything can kill me in one hit. I will not be doing things the standard way <laughs> in any way shape or form. Um, I've already done some prep work on my character getting the skills and spells that I would normally want to have at the beginning of the game and would probably have were I stuck in Skyrim or if I was transferring my character from a previous game and starting off as a level one. Now right now some things that I want to point out are that I have no compass. I don't I, I'm strictly going off of my knowledge of the layout of the land and what is available to me in my inventory um, and what I could pick up right now I have no compass at the top of my screen because I've turned off I've completely turned off the heads-up display um, right now I'm trying to find the storm cloak storm cloak camp that I know is nearby so I can steal a horse and make my way to Bleak Falls Barrow. So what's your story? So I can take care of my tree. cousin So I can take one care one. of that part of the main quest right off the bat. Um, if you have not played Skyrim, there are going to be spoilers. A plenty of spoilers. I think I want this horse. Um, there will be lots of spoilers. So if you have not played Skyrim, you will see things that will, uh, yeah, will occur in the game, obviously. There will be some stuff that you will not, that I am not going to be showing on, on this video series because of the fact that I like to cut corners when possible. Um, this main quest will quite literally be... Yeah, it's gonna it's it's gonna be kind of missing parts because I'm gonna bypass a lot of stuff. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I'm I'm recording. I'm trying to stick the stick it together as much as possible on my days off. Um, I'm gonna try making my way to Bleak Falls Barrow now, and I'm not gonna be going through the door at, that most of you who play Skyrim would use. I'm going into the back door. <laughs> I just have to find my way back over there. I think this is the road that leads to it. I'm pretty sure this is the road that leads to it. And signs. Now one of the things I like about horses is that they can go up almost any surface. You just have to find an uh, angle to do it at. Of course, sometimes I get caught on trees. Um, speaking of horses, a lot of times whenever you make it up to a high point 
and you, I mean, I'm mean like High Rothgar, uh, Throw of the World, and you need to make your way down. College of Winterhold. Let's say if you ma need to make your way down, and you don't have uh, a defined path, and you want to take a shortcut, I recommend jumping off. Now, my character is level 1, so jumping off would be fatal. Um, but the addition of the Dawn Guard, not the Dawn Guard, but the Dragonborn downloadable content, you get access to Netches. Now, a Netch is a flying abomination with shocking tendrils and paralytic nematoxin. Um, <laughs> Netch jelly causes paralysis whenever you ingest it. Now, it's only for a few seconds, but that few seconds could save your life. Now, you're probably wondering, why would I paral cause myself paralysis, and how could that save my life? Now, if you jump off a really high place, when you hit the ground, you take a lot of damage, right? Well, not so much if you're paralyzed. Now, if you're paralyzed when you hit the ground, like right when you hit the ground, if you're currently in the static that is paralysis, you will take no damage when you hit the ground. That's a fun little tidbit to keep in mind. Now, I'm almost to where I need to be to get in through the back door of Bleak Falls Barrow. Okay, one of the ways you can identify the location that is near the back entrance or the exit um, is it'll be close to the lake. It's part of the area between Helgen and the mountains where Bleak Falls Barrow is. Um, you'll notice mammoth skeletons, despite the fact that there are no real mammoths present anywhere near um, this location. Uh, you can see right here there's a cave. This is where you normally exit after completing Bleak Falls Barrow, after clearing it. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that. Now, I was tempted to do a lot of editing to scale it down, save time, but I decided I'm not going to do that. And we'll try sticking it close to 30 minute intervals and seeing if that works. Now, to get up, you have to find a place where you can jump off the edges. Find a place to get your footing. I think I'd go over here normally. And you just jump, 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 lots of jumping, and make your way up to that edge. I was tempted to save here and retry it over and over and over again until I got it on the first try and I decided to not bother. One of the things about going through these walls, you can use baskets, you can use platters, plates. A lot of people swear by the wooden plate method. I swear by, my, by the buckets. These particular buckets. Now, sometimes if the angle is not right, the collision markers don't line up correctly and you can't get through. As you can see here, uh, I screwed it up. Now, sometimes when you back up, you don't have to pick the bucket back up. It's still holding onto it. Now, I almost made it through, so I'm getting closer to having the right angle. Slight differences make a difference. Now I'm gonna open this back up, because that's gonna be where I leave through. And I wanna get my bucket back. And anyone who's played Skyrim, Well, almost anyone who's played Skyrim knows this area look like it's their own bedroom. This is the area where you get your first word of unrelenting force. Fusro da. Uh, the first word 
is usually only available after you get the golden claw and open the door. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm just going to get the word, get the dragon stone, so I can move on to the next part of the quest. Now, the first spell I cast that basked me in the green light was a spell you get from Apocrypha and one of the black books of Hermes Mora. It's, uh, and my vampirism just kicked in. Yay! I just got the first word of Unrelenting Force and my vampirism kicked in. Now, the first spell I got that I cast, the first spell I cast was the Secret of Arcana. And it allows me to cast spells at zero cost while it is active. With spells like Telekinesis, Flame, Spark, and Healing, which are constant cast, they only have a cost. How should I word this? They have no cost once they start casting if Secret of Arcana is activated. Now, Secret of Arcana only lasts 30 seconds, which is a shame. But, once you start casting, they they don't change back until after you stop casting, which is really useful. It's really great for building up your alteration if you have telekinesis. It's really useful for casting healing and uh, building up your Restoration. My alteration and restoration are 100 right now. Even though I'm level 1. Um, I'm going to try avoiding all close range combat because as a level 1, I have 100 health. That's why I'm trying to avoid getting too close to this bastard with a sword. There he goes. Normally, this fight lasts a lot longer, but I had Secrets of Arcana with me. The power of Hermes Mora has blessed me. Um, so now I'm going to... Yeah, I'm still on Legendary. And now I'm going to head to Whiterun to continue my quest to defeat Alduin. Now you'll notice that my flame Atronach hasn't disappeared. And if you caught it, you noticed that when I selected the spell it said Conjure Flame Thrall. Flame Atronach Thrall. Um, there is a Thrall Flame Atronach spell tome in one of the uh, black books whenever you go to Apocrypha and it's really useful when you're level 1 because that adds to your already that, that adds to your yeah your survivability because you already I, if you'll notice I already have the guy you hire in uh, the Retching Natch because he was the first companion I got Now, I'm going to hop over in a zigzag pattern and try to make my way over the mountains as opposed to going around them because going over them is actually, it, it may take a few minutes, but I know which way to go in general direction. And I also know that it would take me five times as long to uh, do the actual walk around the mountain. Because, uh, yeah, climbing over doesn't take nearly as long as going around. Well, climbing over is a little more dangerous and I'm more likely to fall to my death if I miss a, if I accidentally, you know, overshoot a landing. Or if I just go down at a bad angle. I will die. And my character has no Netch Jelly. Apparently I used it all while I was making potions to get money. Which, I don't really know why I need money. I have a house in Raven Rock. <laughs> okay, so I'm going... Oh yeah, to buy more alchemic items. Um, 
I'm heading for Whiterun now, and I'm almost over the mountain. Now the fun part, making it down without killing myself. Do, do, do. As you can see, the weather is preventing the beautiful view. At times like these, I wish I had the clear sky shout so I could actually see because that's one of the things I like about Skyrim. It has great views. And I'm going to make sure I don't have... I'm going to save because this is going to be a hard part because of the sheerness of the rock face. Let's see if I have any nest jelly. I'm pretty sure I don't. And... M N P. Nope. No niche jelly. And so I'm going to have to find a way down that will work for me. Now, let's see. Any other tips I can give? Can't think of any. I'll probably think of some sometime when I get to White Run. There's a lot of stuff to do in White Run. I'm almost down. Yeah, being able to jump up onto rocks and stuff is a great way to avoid getting hit by close-range bandits and fighters. Um, having something to put between you and the spellcaster or archer is always good, so knowing your the lay of the land is important when surviving on Legendary. Now, I'm not going to say that survival is impossible at Legendary when you're level 1, but it's very difficult. Oh, red guards. Okay, that reminds me. The, um, the quest where the red guards are trying to find the girl who's a red guard... Yeah, the, I, I usually let them catch her because her story seems kind of weird considering the political climate of Hammerfell Hammerfell's an independent nation and they fought off the Elder Mary Dominion so there's no reason that Never her story about her being uh, speaking out about she, she tells the story that she, she was speaking out against the Elder Mary Dominion and now they're after her that doesn't make a lot of sense, considering that Hammerfall is anti Aldermary Dominion. Ooh, I'm gonna free this guy because I, I can't. You know it. I'm gonna give him a sword. I don't need it. I already have that enchantment. So she she tells the story that she was speaking out against the Elder Dominion, and they say that she was a spy for the Aldermary Dominion. And I'm thinking to myself. Why would anyone be af? And they, they don't. She says that they want to kill her. Now, if they wanted to kill her, they would not have paralyzed her to take her back to stand trial. So her story doesn't doesn't make sense. Their story makes more sense, and kind of goes along with. It, it kind of goes makes more. It kind of goes along with the political and strategic climate of Hammerfell. So I, I was like, nah, 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 she doesn't check out. And the guards in Whiterun are Imperial bastards who want to shoot me with arrows, so I'm having to dodge those. And it's my personal standpoint on the... What, what, what is it? What is the name of that quest? I can never remember the name of the, some of the s small side quests. But basically, I, I let them capture her because it makes it seems more likely that she would be um, the fugitive who was a spy for the Elder Mary Dominion and cost lives during one of the battles. Let's see. So I'm gonna wait till daylight because I don't want to have to deal with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to wait until they are no longer shooting at me, just to be on the safe side. 
Um, 24 hours usually is long enough if you're outside of range. And my vampirism grows in strength. Um, 24 hours after 24 hours, they usually kind of stop being hostile towards you if they're neutral characters like the guards in White Run, unless you have a bounty. In which case, they'll be like, "Wait, I know you." And they'll come after you with swords drawn, and then you have to tell them to. I'll give you five hundred gold. Hear that spell is making me nervous. Well, I don't care if Hold it's me. making you nervous. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I've come from Helgen with. Fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. Keep an eye on me, eh? It sounds more like you'll be keeping an eye on a pint of mead. Yeah, bastards. Recently, I did a video about getting to Ural and Greymaid's okay, chest in Whiterun. And it's a really simple thing to do. But I'm going to cover it again anyways, because, you know, I think I'm going to save the dragon dragon fight for episode two. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. Really? I was there. All right, so I'm going to head up here. I was tempted to stop here. Um, as you can see, I'm a vampire. Glowy eyes and everything. I'm going to change robes because they look cooler like this. Ooh. When you're playing on a high difficulty, saving is very important. Now, I found out recently through trial and error and testing that you don't need anything in your you don't have to hold anything to fall through you just have to find the sweet spot to me now black line on the other hand there we go it's a proper city you can actually fall through there without and you don't have to jump off buildings you don't have to parkour um also you can uh use a full powered uh whirlwind sprint off the roof of the companion's uh meat hall over the wall. Night vision. I'm a vampire. So yeah, I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna go make sure I have some stuff. I think I'm gonna get some heavy armor because it'll help my survivability. And y'all in Great Mane is a producer of heavy armor. And even though I have not joined the companions yet. Because I thought it might make it for a good video some other time. Don't want to fall down there. So all I'll be able to get is steel armor. At the best. It's randomly generated based on your level. Steel's pretty much the best armor you can get this early in the game. While you're in white run. I'm trying to think. There are any really good armor sets you can get this early in the game. Um, bone mold. You can get some uh, Chitin armor and more. And well, it's part of Morrowind now, but Solstheim. If you have the uh, Dragonborn downloadable content, um, the Dawn Guard has some pretty good heavy armor. I like to mix and match my heavy armor and light armor. Just because it looks cool. Especially if you use the right combinations. It can look pretty awesome. Now, you'll see a spot where the wall meets the ground. There's no there's nothing there uh, except for collision markers. There's no mesh or texture. So, get up here and all you have to do is activate the box. 
you don't actually have to walk up to it. Now, right there, I just jumped and hit the button. I'm definitely going to want some better armor. See if he's got anything enchantable. Gold. Definitely want arrows. When you're dealing with dragons and you can't get close enough to actually toe-to-toe -to -toe with them because you're dead if they hit you, um, you definitely want to do arrows and spells. Long range is best whenever you're going to die from a single injury. Um, heavy armor is especially good if, well, you get hit by a grasshopper. <laughs> I actually had a character die from a uh, ash hopper attack one time because I didn't have any armor at all. And I was level one on legendary. I got my keister kicked. So now that I've got that, I'm going to make my way up to Dragon's Reach. And I'm getting close to my 30 minute buffer window thingy where I'm going to have to start recording the next episode. Hopefully I can get two episodes out of this week. If not, oh well, there's always next week. Now, going up to Dragon's Reach. Now, one of the things about going to uh, Bleak Falls Barrow before coming to Dragon's Reach in Whiterun is that you do not have to go back. Now, I got the stone, so all I gotta do is go talk to the RL, say, I was at Hogan when they were trying to cut off Ulfric's head. And the dragon attacked. And I was there. And the Imperials are dodos. For trying to cut off my head with no trial. See, that's why I joined the Stormcloaks the first time I played. Because they tried to cut off my head without charging me with anything. is not receiving visitors. It's like, where's the justice? Who is this then? I'm well, Bob. That explains why the guards let you in. Yep. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Because I'm Bob. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Oh yeah, he was big, black, shot flames out of his mouth. Reminds me of one of my aunts. Big black shoot flames out of her mouth. Should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. Yes, my aunt Ulfric. What do you say now, Provensus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Shouldn't. Against the dragon? No. My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. Yep. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon is lurking in the mountain... Do that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. Why does him. he even have that guy? He should Enough. not. I hate that guy. I not stand idly Am I the only the one that just wants to kill Preventus? Please tell me I'm not the only one who wants to kill Preventus. I swear, Preventus works for the Aldermary Dominion. Yes, and if you're a fan of the You'll Aldermary Dominion, don't comment on this video. Just go away. That would be best. It's like, I don't have a problem well with done. High Elves. One of my most you powerful characters is a High Elf. You've done white no. service. And I won't the Aldermary Dominion it. are Here. like Take the Earth Equivalent of Nazis. Of my and I, I don't think so. There is another thing you could Dragging do. Dragging people from off in the middle of the night for their personal beliefs. Suitable for someone of your particular it's like if I come talent, across some Aldermary bastards come, during this video or during recording, I will tell them I worship anything I want. If I decide to take a cow head or something and worship that, that's my choice. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. Okay, you had a thing. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss. The no. Hmm. What project? You think you could help me? I yep. really don't think so. I'm an alchemist. What? I'm not even. Ah, I see. You have some knowledge of the alchemical art. More than you. Please forgive my earlier rudeness. I'm so often interrupt. Now, what did you say you wanted? To kill you. Ah, indeed. The Jarl. Oh, yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Nope. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, what am I getting? when I say fetch, 
I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search I already of an have ancient it. stone <laughs> tablet that may or may not actually... I wish I could just hit him upside the head with it. You are eager like, to begin I have it hand. already. Now I, uh, give me the key to the, the locked pantry. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet. No I already ah, have it. The dragon stone of Bleak Falls yeah. Barrow. You'll have to see... See, normally you go get the quest and then you come back and... Delphine from Riverwood is here, who's a member of the Blades. I said there'd be spoilers, so don't get mad at me. Um, normally, you encounter her, and she doesn't want to talk to you, and... <sighs> then this happens when you give him the stone. Somebody said, There's a dragon attacking! What's our next move? If it'll well, help this video is well past 30 minutes sure. long. Um... I will definitely get to get around to destroying a dragon, and by destroying, I mean hiding from. Uh, <laughs> get, I will definitely get around to hiding from the dragon in the next episode, and hope who knows, maybe I'll even have it posted this week. If not, it'll be next week, or never. <laughs> um, right behind you. So we're gonna have this little exchange between the guard and this guy. Who is it? Is an idiot. Um, I got all sorts of toys that I can. I'm probably going to just use my bow from long range because I don't want to get flambéed. Of course, there's a possibility so, it's an ice you're dragon. Enough, tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. I wonder if I'll have full immunity to ice. Tell him what you then. told me about the you dragon. Know, the whole vampire thing is really useful no, sometimes. That's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was false. Faster than anything I've ever seen. Faster than anything he's ever seen. To save time, I'm not going to walk all the way there. You're just circling overhead when I left. I never ran I'm going to so fast travel. Uh, I'm not really wanting to fast travel, sure. but I don't want to waste Good time work, running all the way we'll to a tower here. for no reason. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. So I'm going to fast travel when, I, when I finally get outside. Just skip all that out. walking. And go to the nearest location to the watchtower, which I believe is that fort Good. that I was I walked up to. That held all the no time to stand on ceremony, my wood barricades up. I by need it. your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Of course. You survived Helgen. I ran away so you from have Helgen. More experience with dragons than anyone else here. Ah, oh, the joys and of I having the most experience in the room. You did for me I'm in so retrieving screwed. the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my Normally esteem, I'd be like level 200 I have instructed by now. Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Oh yeah, and I get to buy a dinky little house from and, my a, personal and, a, armory. and a hold that's in the middle of the I would conflict. I very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. <laughs> I need you here working on ways to can't afford to risk both of them. Dragon. Just tell them to avoid I conflict, mean, stay out of it. Okay, so I'm going to save it here, and we'll continue next episode at this spot right here. In fact, I'm going to change the camera angle a little bit so you can see more people, because it looks cooler that way. I am y'all. All right, well, this is where I'm going to end it, and I'll be back. Same brass time, same brass channel. This is Brass from Brass DTV saying, Legendary out. Ciao.